Good morning, my friends. Back with another video today. Just wanted to do a quick update and a quick video topic on something I was thinking about this weekend. Sarah and I had back-to-back -back weddings. We were on the job Saturday and Sunday. And so this was something that I was thinking about the whole time that I was shooting. And it was a topic, obviously, a disclaimer, controversial topic time, okay? Controversial opinion time. Because that's all this is, guys. This whole channel is just an opinion. You know, I'm not stating anything as fact. I'm not that type of guy. I like to state how I work on things, my workflow, my process, the stuff I'm comfortable with. Share it with you guys. If you like it, cool. If you don't whatever it doesn't really matter it's everybody does their own work and their own workflow anyways i'm just talking so this is what i was thinking about the whole time that i was shooting sarah and i obviously we shoot the z6 one xqd card slot we love it we trust it we think it's great but we also started using snapbridge you know just to kind of make a video on this and see the actual backup process because first of all this doesn't go for anybody who backs up raw and raw to you know each card slot. I don't know why people would do that anyways. That's to me that's you know you back up raws to one card and JPEGs to the other just in case shit hits the fan. You have some images to work with and deliver. The JPEG straight out of camera files are are great anyways. So you know in an emergency situation, just fine delivering JPEGs. Plus you don't want to you know keep replacing cards and stuff like that it's nice to just put like a one 120 gigabyte or a one 256 gigabyte in that second card slot if you need it if you have that camera and just put the jpegs on it just in case shit hits a fan uh, but this goes for people who are backing up jpegs so snapbridge needs a lot of work 100 percent, but it's got a lot better and they just released an update for it and it's it's definitely i know it was it was for the to stream raws but for the jpegs it seems like it's improved it also because we're streaming jpegs right to the phone in our pocket and it was great i mean it's so great they they transfer in like like a second or two right to your phone right from the camera the wi-fi in the uh the z6 is great anyways it's it's pretty powerful and it connects and it doesn't lose connection uh, at least for me, I mean, we haven't really tested it like over time. So if you guys have been using SnapBridge a lot to transfer JPEGs for backups, chime in, let me know, um, because this is a preliminary thing. But this is more about the actual like thought process of where the industry's headed in terms of backups and my view on like how we should start thinking about our backups and our studio workflow when we're on the job. Because in my mind, the future is wireless backups one reliable card slot with very reliable uh backup store or storage like xqd and then the backups get streamed to hard drives or storage devices wirelessly that's the future i mean all the wires and the extra shit is going the way of like the desktop computer the desktop computer is is like gonna fade off and only be used in certain circumstances and most people can be walking around with very powerful smartphones and do 90% of the stuff on that anyway. That's what we do 90% of our stuff on anyways. Now, I mean, you know, obviously not editing and hardcore, you know, backups and things like that. You need a desktop computer or, or a powerful laptop. But you know what I'm talking about. The wires and the extra slots and all the extra gear, all that stuff is going away, guys. It's it's going to be simplified. Setups are going to be simplified, smaller, more compact and easier to deal with till you can just bring like you know one camera bag and basically has most of your stuff in it i mean even now like i've said this in my last video i think it was my last video but there's like this return to minimalism which i really really like it's less gear less stuff in the way you know you just you put one card in there format it tether it to your phone or, or wireless storage device and then you go and shoot and then everything is taken care of and you don't have to worry about it. That is the future and that's the future that I want to live in as a photographer because I'm not the type of guy who thinks, hey, we need more stuff. We need all this shit. I need the top, you know, tech of like cutting edge tech and I need wires hanging everywhere and 50 million cards. I don't need any of that stuff. I go and I get in the moments. I get in the, you know, in, in my client's atmosphere and, and we shoot what we see. And the less stuff that's least intrusive, the better for me. So the technology is getting way better. And the streaming devices, I cannot wait, cannot wait to have those be 100% reliable and 100% fast. Now, Streaming JPEGs from the Z6 to SnapBridge is definitely reliable and it's definitely good enough to use. 
Raws aren't there yet. But what I'm saying, guys, is the whole point of this video is I'm excited about the future. It's better to have wireless streaming devices to get those backups or to get your photos off your camera and do it that way rather than having multiple ways of, you know, trying to store it in your camera and, you know, having to buy like, you know, multiple cards and all that stuff and remember and manage the cards and all that. It's, 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 it, to me, it's an old way of thinking. I don't know why more people don't talk about your reliability of your backups once you get to the studio and you get the images off your cards and you put them into your your, your long-term storage or short-term storage at the studio. I mean, I run RAID backup drives. I have, um, I have two hard drives plus an SSD. As soon as they come off my cards, everything is, is in like three different places until it gets delivered to the customers, just in case. And then it's in two different places. I keep it online in the cloud and then I keep it you know, in a, in a uh, long-term backup. But that's the stuff that you really got to worry about, you know, uh, power surges when you're writing to your hard drives and, you know, dust and just all the shit that comes with having hard drives laying around in your, in your studio for long periods of time. It's, you know, I think that those are, are, those are more of an issue for me on my mind in terms of data loss than, uh, you know, a single card slot. But I was just thinking about this on the job this weekend. You guys might agree with me. You might not. Doesn't, you know, I like to hear the conversation. And I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Do you think that we're going the way of wireless and most things are going to be streamed to other devices, external devices? Because in my mind, that's the easiest way and the most reliable way to do it. And I cannot wait until that whole, you know, future of that technology is just like clean and locked down 100%. You can just, you know, stream RAWs everywhere and, you know, you have five different backups if you want it. Right now, the JPEGs are just fine for me. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, we have some new, uh, we have a podcast coming on Friday with a new guest and we're setting up a Skype call this weekend just to kind of go over some bullet points. Can't wait for that. And uh, hopefully you guys are out shooting this weekend. Till the next video, guys.